I know, I know another video, but I had to do another one. I got thinking about something, and there's a different people have asked me this before, and and uh, I've heard people talk about it over the years, especially on YouTube. People get all hung up on it, and that is whether or not to bleed out your catfish before you um, skin them to get all the blood out of them. Is that necessary? I'm going to answer that question for you here in just a minute. I'm going to put up a couple of nice catfish, same size. I'm going to I'm going to bleed one, not the other one, show you how to do that. And then uh, we're going to fry them up real quick. My grandson's going to help me. I'm going to do a taste test with him to see if he can tell the difference between the one that was bled out and the one that wasn't bled out to see if it tastes the same or not. And uh, I kind of probably know the answer, but uh, we're going to find out because he don't have a clue. He's never done anything like this before. And so he don't know the difference, but I'll know the difference. I'll know which catfish is bled and which one's not and see if there's a, ta a taste difference. So hang right in there. I'm going to get a couple of catfish. I'm going to lay them here on this table. It's going to take me a minute to do that because they're very much alive and they're mean. They're, they're male channel cat and they're mean as a snake. And so I'm going to lay them up here and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with each one of them. But uh, I'll be right back. All right, what I have here is a male channel cat approximately uh, six pounds. I've got a mate to it. It's going to look just like it. It's the same size. This fish is very much alive. I was going to put two of them up here to show you on the table the sizes of them, but and I will do that here just to make them. I'm going to cold cock them. And uh, what I'm going to do uh, with these two fish is I'm going to hit them very hard in the head with my uh, kill rod. This is what this is, a solid steel rod. It works really well. You hit it right here and it just takes them out real fast. The thing I've got to do when you do this and you want to bleed your catfish out, I've got to hit him and immediately hang him up and cut his tail off, okay? I don't have any time to mess around because the quicker I can do it, the faster he'll start bleeding. If I, if I let him sit here, let's say for three or four minutes after I hit him and he's completely dead and he just sits here for a while, he won't bleed out good and so I'm wasting my time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cold cock uh, this one and another one and I'll come right back as soon as I get that done because I can't let you watch that, right? But this is what it's going to be like. You just keep it. Okay, now come back, Jackson. Oh, you're already on. You're still on. Okay. All right, I took care of these. Now you can see they're, they're perfectly still for a change. And I'm going to take this one right here, and we're going to run him up here real quick. Follow me, Jackson. Go that way. Run it right here. I'm going to cut this tail off. I'm just going to go above the fork here into the base of the tail. I'm going to cut this all the way around like that right there. Okay, I got that. Now I'm going to twist this and break the tail, it's going to fall. Now watch, see this blood? Go in there and look at that. It's just pouring out of him, okay? Now it'll drip for a while. So I'm going to let this fish stay right here and drip for approximately uh, three or four minutes, and then it'll be completely um, bloodless, pretty much. And then we'll go back over here to this one. Now here's the same kind of fish, same size, Maybe a, maybe a half pound difference in them. This is a male channel cat also. Now what I'm going to do as soon as I get this other fish over here is I'm going to fillet them out. A big old slab of this fillet. I'll show you the fillet after it's flayed out on the one that wasn't um, uh, bled out. All right, ladies and gents. Now, first of all, let's look at these real quick. These two these uh, fillets, all right? This is a bled out fish. This is not a bled out fish. Okay, not bled out, bled out. Now, if you look closely, you'll see a tad difference. There's a little more blood on this fillet than there is on these fillets right here. Is that a big deal? I'll answer that question in one word. No, it's not. And I'm gonna show you why. The blood you see right here comes off. It's just on the outer end of this fillet. And I'm going to clean it here with a hose and clean them up. Most of these fillets will look about the same.
All right. Now look at this. Bled out, not bled out. There isn't a whole lot of difference. But now we're going to do a taste test. So I'm going to take these right here, these displays. I'm going to cut off some good-sized steaks. I'm going to fry them. My grandson Jackson, who's the best fish taster I have around, is going to taste them and see if there's any difference. I'll keep them separated. I'll keep this one separated from this one. And I'll fry them up the way I fry every fish. And I'll fry them exactly the same. Roll them in the exact uh, batter using Zatarans. First, I'll put them in milk, which gives them a good coating. And then I'll roll them in Zatarans, drop them in grease about 360 to 65 degrees, which puts a good crisp coat on them. And then the temperature always comes down as they're, as they're cooking. So I will uh, get back with you shortly, either at the frying pot or the test table. My favorite part right here is tasting whatever it is we're cooking just to see how good it really is. Now, I've got uh, two types of catfish. Well, two different catfish, same type. They're, they're a channel cat. They're both males. And if you noticed, I whacked them on the head and... Then I hung them up to bleed. Some guys will bleed them and not do anything to them. Just hang them up alive and let them bleed. And I have found they don't bleed anymore that way. If you hit them real quick and hang them quick. And they'll, they'll bleed out just fine. So however you do it. I just, it just something about it. I can't let them hang like that. And, and uh, without at least knocking them senseless. But I kind of go ahead and kill them anyways. And I say just hang them, hang them quickly and they'll be fine. All right. Now we're going to taste these fish. I'm sitting here at our taste table on the river. That's my grandson. This is my camera guy today. I've got this catfish right here. I separated with a piece of cardboard so I would just know where the line is, okay? So this is one type of fish right here. This is this right here was bled or not bled, and this was bled out or not bled out. Jackson here has no idea which is which, but he's going to taste each one of them. He's going to take a good bite. Maybe two bites out of each piece. If you take two bites out of a piece like that right there, you can just lay it back in there and grab another one and take two bites. So I want you to take them. I want you to take them close together so that you know you don't wait too long between them. And we're going to see if there's a difference in taste. I have an idea of this answer for sure, but uh, Jackson here's going. Let's have an illustration. All right, Jackson, grab you a piece of fish. That's a nice big old thick piece of catfish right there. Yeah, they come off of that up there by the, uh, the shoulder, the thick part of the fillet. All right. Here we go. Taste test number one. Again, I know which one that is. I know whether or not that was bled out. Jackson doesn't know for sure. What do you think of that piece, huh? It's good. Take one more bite of it and lay the rest of it down. You have to eat the whole thing. And hurry up, you're making me hungry. <laughs> all right, just put it, just put it in the pan. It'll be all right. You can pick it up in a minute. Grab you another piece over here. Now, this is another uh, type of fish right here, bled or not bled. He's going to find out here in just a minute. Now, he's going to try this one. Also good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you taste any difference in them at all? Not really. Not at all? I mean, not really, no. Kind of, not not really though. The textures are a little bit different. Well, that might be the way I cooked them too in the grease, but the taste is the same. Yeah, yeah. And they're good looking white meat. Look at that white meat right there. That's catfish, folks, but it's good white meat. Now, I'm going to take my own taste test here. Now, again, I know which is which, but Jackson don't. And this right here that I'm fixing to eat right here off of this side right here, the right side, that piece he's eating right there, that was bled out. These pieces right here were not. But I'm going to try one that was bled out. Mm. Hmm. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. What I call ridiculously good. And this right here was not bled out.
You want to know my conclusion? And it's real. There ain't a bit of difference. Not a bit of difference. I will tell you this when it comes to bleeding out catfish. I do bleed out the bigger fish. Like anything over 10 pounds, I bleed out. And the reason for that mainly is when they're on my skinning table, if you bleed them out, they don't make your they don't make such a mess on your table. And there's not all that blood you have to work around, keep washing your table off. So it really helps with that. But as far as cooking it and having an effect on the taste, I, I can't see the difference. Now on a big one it might, but I, I have cooked a many a flathead and many a big big channel uh, a cat and blue cat. And I've never bled them out. And we just ate them and they were delicious. So this big thing about bleeding them out and all this stuff, you don't if you don't bleed your fish out, don't worry about it. If you bleed your fish out, fine, great, just have at it. Bleed them out all you want to. But do it humanely if you can. That's what I try to do. And that just makes it better. Well, Jackson, what do you think? The conclusion of all the catfish completely, is it good? No, it's not good. It's wonderful. Okay, I'll take that. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to try to keep it. Hope it was short. I don't know. You'll see and you'll know as you're watching it. But it's over now. Thanks for watching me and you outside. One word, no spaces. Subscribe if you would like to. We'd love for you to subscribe. If you'd like for you to like this video, we'd like for you to comment on the video. We like all these things. It just helps uh, in a lot of different ways, and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, great morning, great night, wherever you are in this world.